Tia Television Company of Western Armenia represents the most important events of these days. Today's broadcast. Friend of Armenians of Western Armenia, Claude Gosgen, deputy from Paris, passed away. Skulls and bones were found in the cave of Mardin, Western Armenia. Prime Minister of Armenia Nikol Pashinyan and his family infected with coronavirus. A meteorite falls in the territory of Western Armenia. The Museum of Armenian Ethnography of Sardarabad Memorial is active on the online platform. Figure of the right in Paris, Claude Gosgen passed away at the age of 75 of cardiac arrest while he was recovering from coronavirus. In the intensive care unit during 22 days because of the coronavirus, the former mayor of the 16 arrondissement of Paris was feeling better, but as a result of heart complications he died Thursday morning at the hospital. Elected for the first time as deputy for Paris in 1993, he stayed in the 16th arrondissement of the capital for more than 20 years. He was mayor from 2008 to 2014. He was also minister of Alain Juppé in charge of state reform, decentralization of citizenship from May to November 1995. In 2013, during the war in Syria, he was the initiator of a large gathering of Christians from the East to assert their rights to be different and to recall the crimes of the dark forces of Daesh against Christians in the East. In this context, he invited President Armena Kabarman, recently returned from Syria, to give his testimony. A large number of human skulls and bones were found in a cave of Dargejit Mardin province in one of the southeastern regions of western Armenia. The statement said that a citizen named Irfan Yakut went to a cave to search for antique and found fragments of skulls and bones, which is supposed to belong to human. Investigation has been launched at the Dargejit Prosecutor's Office. Discoveries were made at the site as part of the investigation. As a result of search, traces and buildings belonging to ancient times appeared in the cave. He also found 40 skulls and bones most likely belonging to humans. The details of the case have been submitted to Regional Department of Culture and Tourism and the Prosecutor's Office continues to investigate this case. Armenian Prime Minister Nikol Pashinyan and his family members have been infected with the new coronavirus, the Prime Minister said today live on Facebook. I will continue to work from the Prime Minister's residence. I have all the means of communication, all the necessary conditions. I will work from here as much as needed, but of course under conditions of isolation, the Prime Minister said. Pashinyan has suspicious that he got infected from a waiter who didn't wear a glove, and that waiter has also tested positive for coronavirus. But the Prime Minister is confident that no one or at least few people in the government have been infected from him. Our strategy remains the same, we should get used to living with coronavirus. We all are in the same situation, we do not have a fever and any symptoms, but we need to follow it as symptoms can come at any moment. We hope that we didn't infect our grandparents, he added. The Armenian Prime Minister again urged citizens to always wear masks and disinfect hands. In some such as a Western Armenia, a meteorite object was observed. Residents of some villages in Karliova region of Burakan recorded a meteorite with mobile phones and went out into the streets in search of the fallen meteorite. Citizens searching with the help of mobile phone lights claimed that the meteorite fell in the area between Burakan and Karin, but so far no one was able to find anything which is not strange. There are claims that the fallen meteorite is located in Karin province. It is noteworthy that a citizen collected mushrooms in Karin is province noticed stones resembling meteorites in the hole in the Earth's surface. According to him, the two pieces of stone weighing about 3 kilograms found in the hole may be meteorites. The citizen took the stone with him and contacted the relevant authorities. On the occasion of 15th anniversary of the victory of the Armenian people at the site of the famous Battle of Sardarabad in 1968, the Sardarabad Heroic Battle Memorial was inaugurated. The memorial complex also represents the Museum of Armenian Ethnography, which houses thousands of exhibits representing the millennial history of the culture of Armenian people, from the early Bronze Age to the present day. The Museum of Armenian Ethnography, among other exhibits, also has a collection of more than 20,000 Armenian carpets and rugs, of which only 20 are on display. Every year, the museum celebrates the victory of Armenian people against the Turkish regular army in Sardarabad with a new exhibition and various events. This year, due to the coronavirus epidemic, the new exhibition of the museum can be found only on the online platform. Now, let us represent to your attention a song by Akung Ensemble. Oh, you know. 
can find the whole version of the song in the official page of Western Armenia TV. This was all for today. Goodbye.